and it's one of those things where it got it only became a massive problem because they decided to not do anything about it you know and when i say it only became a massive problem i mean if something had been done about this sooner many many lives could have been saved right so you know that's uh that's kind of bringing us on to the reagan administration so they they just didn't really want to cover it government officials didn't really talk about it uh there was uh a a White House press briefing in October of 1982, where um, Lester Kinsolving, who was, who was a conservative journalist, um, questioned Larry Speaks, who was the press secretary for Pre- President Reagan. Um, he basically asked him about um, the president's reaction to AIDS. And let me just read out this oh, exchange yeah. for you. <clears throat> this is uh, when a thousand people had died from AIDS, by the way, already, 1982. So, Lester says, and Lester is the um, is the reporter, bear in mind. So the reporter says, does the president have any reaction to the announcement by the Centers for Disease Control in Atlanta that AIDS is now an epidemic in over 600 cases? Um, Larry, this, uh, this press secretary says, AIDS, I haven't got anything on it. The reporter asks, over a third of them have died. It's known as a gay plague. Press pool laughter. Oh. Yeah. No, it, it is. It's a pretty serious thing. One in every three people that get this have died, and I wonder if the president was aware of this. The press te- secretary says, I don't have it. Press pull laughter again. So this is like, when I say press pull, I mean the reporters yeah. and, and whatnot. All the press in the room started laughing as though these were jokes. Um, so La- you know, Larry, the, speaker, uh, the press secretary says, I don't have it. Everyone laughs. And he says, do you? And the reporter says, you don't have it? Well, I'm relieved to hear that. Larry. Everyone laughs. Um, and then Larry, the press secretary, asks again, do you? No, I don't. Oh you God. didn't answer my question. How do you know? Everyone laughs again. And uh, the reporter asks, does the president, in other words, the White House, look on this as a great joke? The press secretary says, no, I don't know anything about it, Lester. And you know, they then, there were like more jokes at, uh, back and forth. Uh, people not caring about AIDS throughout this sort of, uh, this press conference. That sounds like a press conference version of going, you're gay. No, I'm not. You're gay. No, it literally is. That that, that was it. That was, I, that's what I'm just happened. I'm not gay. Are you gay? I'm not gay. That's literally what just that's happened. That's insane. Yeah. yeah. And so it wasn't just throughout this conference. It was like, it was, it was, it continued beyond that. I mean, even after four, over 4,000 people had died, um, here is, um, aud- like, I mean, audio, here is, um, here is like a transcript from, you know, 1984. So what that's, that's like two years later. So this is the same, um, this is the same press secretary, obviously. Larry um, speaks. <laughs> exactly. Larry speaks, although I'd wish Larry would not speak. <laughs> um, and this is the same reporter again. So I'll, I'll just read these out to you. So Larry speaks. The press secretary says, Lester is beginning to circle now. He's moving up front. Go ahead. Lester, the reporter asks, since the Centers for Disease Control in Atlanta report is going to press pull laughter. He was cut off by everyone laughing. Um, and the the press secretary says, this is going to be an AIDS question. And uh, the, the guys continue trying to talk. He's saying that an estimated, the, the, press, the press secretary says, you were close. And the reporter then asks, uh, can I ask the question, Larry, that an estimated 300,000 people have been exposed, exposed to AIDS, which can be transmitted through saliva, which isn't true, by the way. Um, will the president, as commander in chief, take steps to protect armed forces, food and medical service from AIDS patients or those who run the risk of spreading AIDS in the same manner that they bed typhoid fever people from being involved in the health or food services? Um, and apparently... Whilst this question is being asked, people are laughing. Essentially, what he's um, essentially what he's asking here is: Are we going to stop the people that have got the AIDS from being able to be involved in all of these things, lest they infect the rest of us? Because it can it can be spread through their saliva, which false it can't. can't be. Yeah. Um, and maybe they didn't know at the time, but it can't be. But also, whilst he was saying all of this, people in the room were just laughing. At this point, over four thousand people had died, mm-hmm. and they're laughing like that's ridiculous. Ridiculous, like actually ridiculous. This conversation goes on. The press secretary says a little highlight. He says, I haven't heard him express concern uh, concern with regard to the president. So the president apparently had not expressed any concern three or so years into this uh, epidemic where 4,000 people had died. (laughs) Um, uh, I've not heard him express anything. Um, I haven't asked him about it. Not even bothered to ask. Yeah. The press secretary has already been asked about um, AIDS been doing and HIV. For three years. Has not bothered to ask the president, apparently. Um, and then, you know, it's some more jabs at the end. Will you ask him, Larry? Have you been checked? Is the president going to ban mouth-to-mouth kissing? What? Pardon? I didn't hear your answer. 
Uh, it's hard work. I don't get paid enough. Um, is there anything else we need to do here? This is just a group of blokes joking about whilst people are dying. Do you think the out of interest you've you've read this uh this stuff with the with the reporter um in your research is the reporter trying to do a good job and everyone is obstructing him or is the reporter kind of joking along too so at what least I, he's asking the questions like that's the, the, like the idea that he he's asking a question that everyone else wants to sort of ignore is um you know it's it's it, that's a good thing that's what the press should be doing yeah i mean i guess apparently he's uh he's a conservative um but yeah i think it, as far as i'm aware he was he wasn't taking it terribly seriously. Yeah. I think he was laughing along with them. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm not entirely sure. I don't want to. I don't want to slander this yes, man. Yes, sure. But um, <laughs> yeah. It, look, it says he was a conservative, a conservative um, mm. journalist or a conservative reporter. You know, so I'd hazard a guess as to saying that he was probably a little bit in on the joke. Like, yes, he's asking the questions, but also, I, I mean, I, I I'm really not sure. Regardless. The entire press pool mm-hmm. laughing the way that this wasn't taken seriously. Like this is these are two separate interviews, like two three years apart. Years, two years apart. Two years yeah. apart. Yeah, three. Like the latest one being three years after. And they start laughing before he even asks his question. Exactly. They're like, oh, we know what's coming. Ha 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 mm. ha ha. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and you know, funding for AIDS research was was really difficult to get. Um, you know, to. To the first federal funding, uh, you know, so from the, from the federal government, um, had it was coupled with toxic shock, shock syndrome and Legionnaires' disease um, in a public health emergency trust fund. So there wasn't even um, there wasn't even like like specific funding mm-hmm. given towards AIDS research. It had to be wrapped up with other things to get it to pass through. Yeah. Um, so. Apparently, this left public health experts frustrated. I've got a quote here. The inadequate funding to date has seriously restricted our work and has presumably deepened the invasion of this disease into the American population, a CDC staffer wrote in an April 12th, 1983 memo to Dr. Walter Walter Dowdle who was the assistant director of the CDC at the time. In addition, the time wasted pursuing money from Washington Washington has cast an air of despair over AIDS workers throughout the country. Um, and by the end of the year, uh, the country had, and again, I'm just reading this as a quote, by the end of the year, the country had 4,700 reported cases of AIDS and more than 2,000 deaths. Like, this was 1983, right? So nearing 5,000 people, um, 5,000 reported cases. Bear in mind, mm. the actual case is going to be going to be way higher than that and more than 2,000 deaths. And then Reagan decides to actually say something. Congratulations, to, Reagan. Yeah. Guess what year? Uh, I think you told me, didn't you? 1970... This is taking place in the 80s, right? 87? 1984. Oh, uh, okay. He's a little bit better than you expected. Huh. Yeah. But like 1984, yeah, he, he actually says something about it. But I mean, I don't like it, his response even then was not like was not great. I mean, he said it was a top priority. Um, he was responding to a reporter's question. Oh, sorry, uh, uh, 1984. Sorry, it was 1985 um, when he first publicly uh, when he first publicly spoke about it. 1985 um, in uh, in response to a journalist, he said it was a top priority. Um, Congress then allocated. Um, um, just under 200 um uh, just under 190 million for aids research mm. um and that was 70 million more than was requested um but also that same day Brock Hudson who was uh who was close with Reagan uh died from aids and apparently that just shot it like right into the zeitgeist like the into like like everyone was like talking about it. everyone's aware of it at yeah. that point yeah so i mean reagan finally pulled his finger out and started to do start to do something about it i mean he was put under a lot of pressure so he mentioned it in 1985 i think in 1986 um his uh surgeon general was um was kind of pushing for uh a it says a coordinated response to AIDS. Mm -hmm. Um, And then in 1987, I think was when things actually started to move forward. You got to remember throughout all of this, local authorities, like sort of local, local governments and whatnot were doing what they could, but without the federal sort of, without the support from like, you know, the higher government, it's really bloody difficult to do anything. Um, And, you know, at this point, like people were using this for homophobia. People were like refusing. I mean, homophobia was already bad enough, Mm -hmm. but the idea that gay people were, you know, inherently like disgusting or infectious was so bad so bad for that homophobia in that it just made it so much worse so yeah they ended up responding to the aids crisis far far too late i mean this is 1987 um when 
things start happening. Yeah, yeah, six years. Six years to respond to this in a significant way. And by that point, 47,000 people had been infected with HIV in the United States. And, it, you know, you can see those numbers. It shot up from about sort of 4,700, you know, I think maybe like, what, uh, 1983 to 40, uh, four years later, like 47,000. Like it, like, it just shot up. I mean, we're probably getting better at testing. More people were aware of it and, like, and, and, um, and, getting himself checked and you know like so obviously the numbers are going to go up but 47,000 people just because they did not do anything and to say that they didn't do anything uh, just out of apathy yeah it makes sense but also if gay people are dying and you're a homophobe it's probably in your best interest isn't it